Hi viewers, welcome to Lama Solution. Today we are going to see about voltage sag mitigation in 16 bus distribution system using UPQC. The UPQC is nothing but unified power quality conditioner. Thanks for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification of the upcoming videos. Let's start with implementation of uh, UPKC in 16 bus uh, distribution system for mitigating the voltage sag. So before that, I'm going to explain the 16 bus system. So where we got the detail, okay. So we can refer this paper, right? A distribution feeder reconfiguration for loss reduction, okay. So for, from this paper only, we take take the detail of uh, section bus uh, uh, distribution system systems so this model is a 23 kilovolt model or 23 kilovolt distribution system so whatever detail so we taken from this paper only okay so the detail is implemented here here you can see that so this is the model for the dis uh, distribution 16 bus uh, distribution system Once again, this one, okay. So this is the incoming line. So and then you can see that we have bus number one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and then you can see that eight, nine, or ten, eleven. And 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then here you can see that uh, this is the the connection for a tie line. Okay. And then you can check each bus, for example, going to go inside the bus number four. So you can see that the load is connected in the each bus. So you can click inside that bus, you can see that it have load in the each bus, okay. And you can click this. So here the base gave you nothing but 23 into 1 e port, nothing but 23 kilovolt. The frequency here we consider as 50 hertz, okay. And then now I'm going to create some load. I'm going to add in the load in the bus number 12. Okay, and also I'm going to create the fault here. The fault is created in between 0.2 to 0.3 second to plane fault. So this is a load detail. Okay. So let me check the detail during the fault in the system. So I'm going to execute this model. So here we are measuring the, the bus voltage and the bus RMS voltage, right? So, so from bus number 4 to 16, you have to measure 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So here, here you can see that the RMS voltage for the each bus from bus 4 to bus 16. The fault is created in the bus number 12. So because of that, you can see that the voltage of the bus 12 is equal to zero. So the fault is created nearer to that bus 12, right? In the load side. So because of that, what happened? The bus number 8 having voltage tag, 9 having voltage tag, and bus number 10 having voltage tag. And then bus 11 having voltage sag, right? And also you can see that RMS voltage deviation. So here you can see that RMS voltage deviation of the bus number 8 is around, it drop around 40% days. So here you can see that the bus number 12 drop around 100% days. So bus 9 is drop around 
70 percentage bus 10 is the world is like around 60 percentage and bus 11 the world is like around 70 percentage okay so because of fault occur in the bus number 12 so it going to affect the, the remaining buses also so we need to mitigate this problem that means we need to mitigate this police error because of this fault right so that means you have to protect the system uh, and, and also you have to maintain the bus voltage in the remaining buses also at one period okay so this is the this is the problem in the uh, system and the fault is occur okay and also i'm going to explain another thing so i'm going to uh, operate the the model with the induction motor okay for example i am going to connect the induction motor in this system okay that means 60 uh, 60 bus uh, distribution system so because of uh, connecting induction motor certainly so what happened the voltage sag will be occur in the system okay so that going to be analyzed here right here you can see that so i'm going to connect one induction motor in the bus number 60 okay so bus, num bus number 16 i'm going to connect the induction motor and then it won't be <coughs> turn on and uh, time of 0.25 seconds so because of that so you can see the response in both the instantaneous voltage as well as rms voltage detail so 0.25 second is induction motors added system so here you can see that so because of adding up induction motor what happened so the induction motor is connected to the bus number 16 so we have some voltage sag so because of this adding up that induction motor or starting up induction motor in the bus number 16 so it won't be affect bus number 13 bus number 14 bus number 15 okay and also you can see the detail here so sag is occur in this system okay so we need to avoid this problem also so when we have to connect large size of large rating of the induction motor in the bus so because of that definitely sag will be occur in the system so we need to mitigate this problem also and also i'm going to complete another thing so that means i'm going to combine both induction motor starting and fault so now I'm going to create fault in the bus number 12 from 0.2 to 0.3 second and I'm going to start the induction motor in the bus number 16 in the 0.25 seconds so you have to see the, the result of the voltage variation So here you can see that so this is because of fault so this is because of that uh, starting up induction motor so it won't be affect the different buses okay so because of fault as well as induction motor starting so it won't be affect different and different buses so now we can see that the bus number four five six seven so there is no problem so it made it at around one per unit right so you can see that it maintained at around one per unit no problem but you can see that the bus number 8 9 10 11 uh, 12 13 14 15 and 16 so we have we have only sag because of the fault as well as the starting of induction motor so we need to mitigate this problem also when you want the fault and the starting of the induction motor is happen at the same time okay so we need to mitigate that problem that means you need to mitigate the only problem in the 
each bus okay so now to so mitigate this problem so we go for utilities model so here i'm going to explain the first one first case the main how to mitigate voltage lag because of fault in the bus number 12 by using UPQC. So here you can see that I, I connected UPQC in the bus number 12. The because the fault is occur. So fault is occur in this system. So load system, load bus type. So this is a load bus. So here I'm going to connect UPQC in between this distribution system and the load system in between load system. I'm going to connect UPQC. Okay. So now I'm going to simulate this model. You can see that result because so here already you can see that the fault is created at 0.2 to 2.3 seconds. So you can see the results whether you can mitigate the old SAG or not. Okay. So already you know that because of fault in the bus number 12 load bus. So it's going to be affected to current process. Now we can see that the result of EPQC, the EPQC is added in bus number 12. At 0.2 seconds, the fault is created and it's going to be removed at the 0.3 seconds. We will wait for that event for t event in the system and then you can check the result of instantaneous voltage of the all, all buses and the RMS voltage of the all, all buses whether it have any deviation or not okay or else it maintain at one period of time So now we can see that fault is occurred here in the time of 0.2 second. But you can see that so the old is maintained one period in the all buses. So there is no changes in the voltage of the all buses. Okay, so it maintained one per unit so after connecting UPQC in between the load bus and the distribution system. So it will maintain one per unit in the all buses. So it mitigate the voltage tech problem in the distribution system because of faulty event. So next time I'm going to explain. When we start the induction motor, obviously the sag will be occur in the system. So here I'm going to use UPQC in between the induction motor and a distribution system. So here you can see that I'm going to use in the uh, UPQC in between this induction motor and the uh, distribution system. Okay. So this will be started at 0.25 seconds. Okay. So we will check the response of the voltage of all buses. So after uh, during that point to that mean when the point to the second the induction motor is started in the distribution system. So we'll check that result whether UPQC mitigate the dolly sand problem in the all buses or not. So I'm going to so you can see that time of point two five second induction motor added in the distribution system in the bus number sixteen. So this is because of that adding of induction motor. So there is some spike in the voltage. So after some cycle, you can see that uh, is come back to the the actual voltage level because we can see that here right so all buses voltage will be maintained at one per unit right so now the UPQC is 
mitigate the dual dissect problem because of adding of or starting of induction motor in the bus number 16. So here also the UPQC mitigate the problem because of starting of induction motor in the distribution system. So it will and the UPQC is effectively mitigate the problem. So next I'm going to explain. The UPQC system that means now we are going to connect two, two UPQC. So one is in the bus number 16 between this induction motor and the distribution system. So another one UPQC between this load and the distribution system. Okay. So now we are creating fault the time of 0.2 to 0.3 second as I explained early and then induction motor will be added in between 0.25 to 0.32 seconds okay so after adding this one how this uh, if is going to mitigate the problem so let us simulate this model and then I take the results you can check the results so this is the result of this model So now you can see that uh, there is no uh, changes in the voltage. The voltage will be maintained around uh, is equal to one period in the all buses because of this UPQC. Okay. So the voltage had problem due to faulty event and uh, starting of induction motors. Effectively uh, mitigate by means of the UPQC. So this is working of uh, Voltage sag medication in the 16 bus distribution system using VPKC. So, thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification of upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.